on guys welcome back to another video I know I haven't recently uploaded in a while during that whole time I did install a few new parts on the B7 I'll show you guys in just one second and today we're actually going to be installing a new RS grill and a front lip splitter that I got in the mail just a few days ago so I'm really stoked to do that I'm actually going to turn the car around because the lighting's a little better on this side and then we could get started on that but let me show you what I've recently done to the Audi alright guys so this is the trunk lip spoiler that I got I've been rocking it for like a month and a half now really stoked on how that looks and I'm also rocking a roof spoiler really glad how that looks too so that's how my back end is looking right there let me focus that and that's pretty much that's new and the front end is still the same literally the only cool thing about it is like you can barely see the front uh, my inner cooler but well, that's about it that's how it's looking so now we're just gonna get started on this we're gonna start this off by showing you what's in this nice big box right here already got a little head start on opening it I'm gonna dig right through here and get straight to it I guess oh. what do we have here so this is the max in front lip for my B7. It says it only fits S-line bumpers, but mine's not an S-line, so we're gonna, I'm pretty sure it's going to fit perfectly fine, so let's get this out of the rack. We got some hardware that comes with it right here. It's wrapped. And this is how the lip looks. It's actually wrapped right now, so I thought it was actually beat up. So this is going to be going on that. Let's find out if it works. So me and Tito are actually going to take off the bumper to install the front lip. You could install it just like that. You could just jack up your car and put it on stands. But we're going to install something else that requires taking off the bumper. So might as well make it a little bit easier on us. Once you got your bumper off, this is the way we're going to be doing it. We're just going to set it up here. I'm going to obviously just clean the bottom a bit. And we're just going to line up the splitter. Make sure it's all nice and straight. And then we'll start drilling some holes. So I got my drill bit ready to drill a hole. I'm pretty much just going to drill through here first, line it up on there and mark the location and then drill the holes on the bumper. Here we go. I got all my holes. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're just going to line it up and do the real holes. So me and Tito are just going to plant it right now and then we're going to pretty much mark it and go from there, go a little bit to this way. Alright guys, so we actually just put one right in the middle so it could hold with the supplies it came. And now we're just going to do this side and that side just to like get it more flush so it's on point. We're gonna tighten up the three holes out of five that we got, the two sides in the middle. We actually put the bolt through the other side, so I'm just gonna put my L key on the other side right here, hold it, and then get to tighten, boys. Just before you drill the rest of your holes actually on, make sure to take off the, the cover and whatnot. This thing looks so clean when you take it off. Check it out. Yeah, Baba. Woo. That's how it looks. A little dusty right now, but that's how it looks without the cover. I'm actually really happy right now. All right, guys, so we're just installing those five bolts. We're going to use the extra five, six bolts and nuts that we have so it could be extra secured on the bumper. So check it out. There's one of them. There's two, three, four, five. And then where, where do you think we should put the extra ones, too? The extra ones, we're going to go ahead and put one over here, one right there, one right there, there, and there. All right, cool. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do now, boys. And then after this, we're gonna move on to the next item we're gonna install on the bumper. So stay tuned. This is the lip on the bumper, screwed on, all ready to go. Let's see how this looks. This is the final product of the splitter on the bumper. A better view of that. So there's that, folks. I'm sure it's gonna look 20 times better on the car. Really happy how it came out. What do you think, Tito? It looks dope. I, I approve. You approve? Hell yeah. Alright guys, we're going to move on to the next 
part we're adding on here so stay tuned and drop a like comment and subscribe if you guys like that front lip and want more content to come because it's boost season baby yes sir it is quattro season quattro season too yeah Oh, I got quattro now, eh? mm -hmm. oh, dude, about that too. Tito actually had a front wheel drive A4B7, but now he's quattro. So, if you guys want to go see what's going on with his build, it's actually pretty nuts right now. He's gutted from like the whole inside, so make sure you guys follow him. Four banger bandit right here, guys. Shout out to Tito too for you, showing me how to do all this shit. Without him, <laughs> would have been a rock. Maybe. You still be here. Yeah, I'll still be here. <laughs> still be so yeah, big shout out to Tito. Alright. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Yep. I don't know y'all guys, but you know, keep following this guy. He got a lot of things coming up. I already yep. know. Yep, you guys already know. Let's Just get started on this. You guys gotta make him post more though. Now, the next thing that we have for the bumper is this. I'm pretty sure you guys can already tell what it is. Here it is, ready? Bam. Got the new RS girl. So this thing should be looking pretty fucking sick. So let's get to work and slap this on. Let me show you guys how it goes down. So pretty much to take off your original stock grill, you're going to need one of these little star bits. And there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe like 10, 12 little star bits, bolts that you get out. So let's get started on that. Get those 12 bolts on, it should easily come off just like that. So, to install your new grill, guys, it's really simple. Once that's off, this is gonna literally just flip flush right in there and then tighten up the bolts again. And then, after that, folks, pretty easy install compared to the lips. So, let's install this thing and keep going. You're obviously gonna want to, you know, keep your full rings if you guys didn't get any new ones. Pretty simple clips back here, just loosen them and then check this out pops right off oh I think I missed one and there's your four rings guys I actually broke a few clips so well hope it stays on I only broke like three of them it should be all right and then you might you might want to keep your nasty grill just kidding once you got your grill back on guys it comes with this uh holder for your rings actually so we're just gonna go ahead and like strap this on with the materials it came with which were these little thingies right here a lot uh, along with some screws so we're gonna figure this out get it nice in the middle and then install it simple as it is folks Tio actually just got the first little thing on there right there sorry you guys can see the little holder right there. It's pretty much what you got to do. Stick it in there. Put those uh, the screws in and it should hold. Right in the center. I'm about to slap the rings on and then we'll find out from there. So. This is the final product of the bumper with the lip and the RS grill. Comment down what you guys think about it. Does it look good? Does it look bad? What else should we do? All right, guys, now it's time to really find out how it's gonna look on the car, so let's go slap it on. Moment of truth, we're about to slap this back on here. There's that. Holy shit. Okay, so that's how the car looks with the lip and the RS grill. It looks 10 times better. I'm really satisfied how it turned out. Check it out, guys. Hold on, no, oh, yeah, let's close the hood. Damn. So that's pretty much it, guys. We'll get some better shots of it, but that's what it looks like. Really happy how it turned out. What do you guys think? Goes out, the lip goes out all the way to there. Honeycomb girl looks good. The rings, nice in the middle. So that's how it looks, guys. Comment down what you guys think, if you guys like it, and whatnot. Shout out to the boys, cameraman Aaron. Thank you. Tito, thanks, my man. 
Yeet. That's that for now. I'm about to just go hang out for a bit, clean up a bit, and then I'll probably go hang out with some of the boys later, get some cinematics, and just to show you guys the front end a little bit more. So, see you guys in a bit. So, right now, I'm just about to go head over to Tito's. He did mention earlier he got his, a new clutch switch for his car that was supposed to come in today, and it actually got here earlier while we were working on on the bumper and whatnot. So, we're gonna go see what he's up to, see if he's done. Looks like Tito's still out here. Let's see what he's up to. We're here with Tito. Actually, he ordered the cut switch, but another car park got here. What was it? So, my turbo's been acting up a bit, and my code came out for an N75, and that's what I ordered instead of the... Oh wait, no, I ordered the cut switch, but the N75 came in earlier than the clutch switch. Yeah, we both, I thought, yeah. I thought it was here earlier. He yeah, even me showed too. me, but... That N75 was literally. Let me focus here real quick. There it is. That's the N75 valve. It's literally right by your colder intake and your turbo setup over here. But yep. And like I mentioned, Tito did get the new Quattro. This car might look familiar to you guys. There's a little bit of history behind it. Oh yeah. Yeah, Tito just finished that up. And yeah. If anyone, if anyone could tell, this isn't Tito's, Tito's front wheel drive B7, because he's Different actually, one. yeah, he's actually Quattro now, so. Different one with, the, with all my parts. Pretty much all his old parts from his B7 went on to this B7, which if you guys could tell by these fenders, you might know whose it is. <laughs> Piggy, <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so this is uh, Tito's new setup. Pretty much a stage two, but it's on JHM, huh? Yeah, it's, okay. it's a JHM tune. It's pretty sick, not too bad. And he actually has this whole thing gutted. Here, let me show you. It's like gutted, folks. No lie. Top, trunk. Oh, yeah. Tight. Oh, what's that lotion for? Nothing, dude. All right. Mm. But yeah, Tito's got some really fucking sick shit coming in. It's even what? Three inch straight pipe? Three inch pipe. Three inch straight pipe. Looks two and a half, huh? Like it should. A little bit. So it does it does look two and a half inch, but it's actually three. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's hear how it sounds. Yeah. What do you got? Damn yo, that shit's loud. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna do this Justin on camera, but that shit's loud. God damn. <laughs> That shit was, no, hell no. He's got. I still have a resonator on mine. Yeah, you're still. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, with the two step on my last boost dynamic tune. Actually, two on that. I'm running. I'm back on APR stage two tune. Pl uh, stage two plus tune, and I'm not running the uh, boost dynamic no more for now. Not that I don't like it or anything, but I'm giving my turbo a little relaxation, I guess. But yeah. So no more flames on this thing. Sounds good, that turbo sounds nice. But yeah, Tito's a, mm, I don't even know, I can't even tell you guys yet, but... Damn, Tito's got some shit coming, so go check him out. Yeah, bro. Shit's clean, guys, I'm telling you. He's gonna be back soon. If you guys saw his old B7, that shit was clean, too, so... This one's gonna be cleaner in the future. Yep, you heard yeah, it. Y'all see it in this channel. That's for sure. But y'all will for sure see it in the other channel. Actually just came out to shoot to get some photos of the car and get some cinematics, so... I'll probably be playing those cinematics right at the end of this clip, so hope you guys enjoy. And this actually happened because I lost my little circle thing right here and we had an extra hook laying around, so I just put that there for now. Which sucks, but doesn't look too bad. Better than it missing.
going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys liked how the front end turned out, drop a comment down below. I'm so in love with it. It looks 10 times better. And I couldn't be more happier than it. Also, shout out to Tito for the help. His B7 going to be coming along too real soon, folks. Stay tuned for that. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.